Dude, did you like episode seven? Nah. Edge of the Empire would have been a much better film. You know why they got rid of the EU, right? Uh. Why? Disney needed more creative freedom! What's up, guys? Today I'm going to talk about EU, Star Wars, and basically Disney owning Star Wars and why I can't stand that. Ever since we had Angry Joe tell us that Disney bought Star Wars in 2012 and that we would have an episode 7, we wanted the end of the world to pause for a moment, to wait to kill us until after we saw episode 7 so that we could see what it was like, right? But yet we were cautious about it because... Well, first off, it's Disney. Disney owning Star Wars was not what we expected, and one of the changes they made was separating the canon and the EU. Separating the canon and the EU was not the most excellent idea, and it was useless for a few reasons. First of all, the fans should be able to determine what's canon and what's not. Most of the fans have a great passion for Star Wars and aren't going to want to defile it. Those that um, create the books, in my opinion. George Lucas made the prequels, and when he made them, there was already an EU out. Right? Remember Coruscant? He got that from the EU. And he didn't have to separate it, right? Because what he does is like gospel, right? He is the master. And what he says about Star Wars goes. It's as simple as that. That's why he didn't have to separate it. And the last one, and you're probably going to be surprised at this one, there was structure to it already. See, when I made this video, this is what I had to do. I had to figure out if there was structure to it. And I, I kind of knew that already, almost, but then kind of did know, right? The EU has two types, okay? The EU has two types of canon, all right? And this is not expressed very well. Uh, the first type is, of course, the canon that fits in with the continuity of the movies, right? Second is an EU where all the EU is canon, and I do have evidence for this. The Lucas licensing official continuity policy deals with the first one, right? An EU that fits in with the continuity of the movies. The Lucas slash LFL canon policy deals with the second in EU where all EU is canon, right? And then there's the Star Wars canon policy. I don't know if it exists, and if it does, I don't know which one it deals with, obviously. And then the, there's the Lucas licensing publishing continuity policy, and I do not know if that exists. The Lucas licensing publishing does exist. I don't know if they have a continuity policy, right? So there's that. And obviously, it's all I have for the evidence. Star Wars is a story. A beautiful story that needs to be told well. Right? All six movies are all about Anakin. Right? That's the story that George was trying to tell about Darth Vader. Right? He told a great story when it came to the original trilogy, and he had a great vision for the prequels. It would have been nice to see George's original vision for Episode 2. You can tell that he has great passion for his children, right? <clears throat> Disney makes great movies, but a great movie doesn't make it Star Wars. And putting lightsabers in a movie doesn't make it Star Wars. Over the past few years, we have had Star Wars shoved down our throats, and especially over the past year, having heard about this anthology films and Episode 7. All right, and everybody's talking about episode eight still because, you know, seven had some loose ends to it. J.J. Abrams is a great director, and you can tell that he is a big fan of Star Wars, but not the kind of fan that needed to be directing Star Wars. I think my main issue with The Force Awakens is that I don't think J.J. Abrams gets what Star Wars is about. Throughout several interviews, Abrams said that he wanted this movie to convey the fun that the first movie conveyed. The idea for me and for all of us, I think, was to 
try and, and, and recapture that spirit. It didn't need to be redefined, it just need, needed to be brought back for me, which was that, that sense of, of romance, of, of comedy, uh, of adventure, of surprise. Um. But I don't think Star Wars is all about fun. They wanted to do a retro movie. I don't like that. I like I, every movie I worked very hard to make them different. Now keep in mind that we've waited three years for this movie. Three years for this movie. Episode 7 was a good movie, but copying elements from a previous film does not make it what that previous film was. In other words, Episode 7 does not equal Star Wars because it copied elements from Episode 4, which is equal to Star Wars. Disney does not understand this. I mean, when it comes to Star Wars, I mean, Disney, Disney has really just, like, desecrated its legacy and, like, spat in the faces of every fan who ever supported it, you know, when when they weren't making movies in the 90s and whatever. You know, he, he just... I can imagine how how regretful George Lucas probably is right now. I mean, he should have never sold it to Disney. He never should have sold it to Disney. It was... No. Because of this, because of all the separation, because of the EU, because of Disney's failed attempt at Star Wars Episode 7, right? I've created a hashtag, okay? And the hashtag basically is for those EU fans, right? Or those who aren't willing to accept the new trilogy as canon, okay? This is what the hashtag is for. The hashtag is called My Star Wars Canon, okay? And My Star Wars Canon basically consists of Episode 1, Episode 2, The Clone Wars, the 2003 Clone Wars, all right? Episode 4, 5, and 6, okay? And I have not chosen to um, bring in this th the Thrawn trilogy. And with that, I'm kind of reading it right now, actually. And it's also for those that want Star Wars to be preserved for what it was actually supposed to be, right? About the belief system, the philosophy, and just the story that George Lucas was trying to tell. They looked at the stories and they said, we want to make something for the fans. So I said, all I want to do is tell a story. Down below, definitely, I have a bunch of people who more or less kind of feel the same way that I do about Disney owning Star Wars. And so down below in the, uh, in the description is all those, uh, all the people that I watched before making this video um, about episode seven, about the EU and stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoy their videos. Go check them out. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please deem worthy by hitting that like button. Express yourself in the comment section. And please support by subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.